hi guys I want to show you how I um, have been um, packaging my stamping up stamps to keep them organized so um, I don't sell Stampin' Up, but I do uh, love their stamps and um, their stamps and dies. So this is how I've been um, organizing my um, stamp sets. Um, I like to put them in these bins and then I can stack a couple of these bins that fit inside my um, IKEA Expedite shelves. Um, so what I'm doing inside the packages is I have the stamps. Um, I don't put the sticker that comes on the stamp. I don't put the sticker on here because this tends to stick to the block and to my uh, Misty machine without the sticker. So I just have the stickers on the outside of the packaging here. Um, I guess you could just keep the stickers attached to the sheet they come to, but I do like to do this because then I know whether I've got one missing or not. And I can uh, remember that I have all the pieces in here. So I've got the stamp set, and then I've got the um, coordinating die set. So what I do is I cut off a piece of magnetic strip, and then I have it in here, and then I can have my dies um, together in that in that case. So it's all together. Um, the other thing that I've started doing is the um, the booklets of the catalogs, where you get kind of the um, ideas and you. Um, when you first see the stamp set and it's you know why you wanted to buy it, um, I've been keep taking the packet the um, pages out of the catalogs and then keeping that with the set. So I kind of remember the colors that went well with it and um, the ideas um, to make that. I mean I know you can look up stuff, but it's kind of nice to have that um, together with you. So um, love that idea. Um, the other thing I've done is sometimes it's not necessarily a coordinating die that goes with it, but maybe it's a die that I would use um, with it when I'm making something out of it. So I got this one, Thoughtful Banners, because I loved all the words that were on here and all the little banners. So I thought, well, that's really handy for card making and all the words that you want to put on it. You could use it for um, scrapbooking layouts, too. Um, but then I wrote on here, Stitched Frames because I wanted to remember that I had the um, stitch frames with this too. So typically when I'm card making, this is probably what I would use frequently with card making. So I would have um, the stitch dies and then these words, and then I just happen to have written it on the outside here that that sets together. So I remember that this is my words and my stitch dies for card making. I'm trying to think of other ones here. Sometimes what I do is, if there's two sets that are similar together, or sometimes they come, you know, two packs to a stamp set. So what I do is I kind of combine them into one case so that it saves space. So this one is Butterfly Basics and um, Avant Garden. And they both were very uh, bot botanical looking. So I thought, well, I'm going to store those in the same container. And then... Um, the coordinating butterfly dies. So you can see how small these stamp sets were. They were each in a different um, packaging. And I thought, well, this is crazy. I'm just going to keep them together so that I, um, you know, I use them at the same time. So I just have them all together. So that's a good way to save space. And you can kind of see what they are from the outside of the packaging. I'm trying to think of any other tips. Here's one that has two in it also. So this one just has some good words for cards. This is a thank you one. And then this one's just a good uh, word set for sorry you're sick, it's your day, celebrate, and thanks. So this kind of some good word sets. Again, they weren't taking up a lot of space in the sets. They all fit in one package. So just a good way to coordinate them all. Um, I like stacking them this way in the bin because then I can stack two of these bins up and I can pull them off my shelf and get to them real easily. So I hope those ideas help. Thanks.